Hello everyone, this is Chade, and uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up TPSN benchmarking on Hartonworks. So first of all, let's get into our Google Cluster, and you you can see I already set up a new project named HTTP TPC on my Google Cloud, and uh, this is a uh, new project so there's nothing in there and uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you from the beginning so the first step is we have to install the github because we're gonna get code from github and uh, the command is sudo yum install git and yes and there are a couple other tools we need to use in, in for setup TPC benchmarking. Um, it's called GCC and uh, we also need other package based on this software. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this command GCC with a star at the end. In that way it will install all the package for this one. Like you see C++ C++, Java, and this tool is actually the thing we're gonna use for set up TPC benchmarking. But we're gonna install all of this anyway, just in case. And uh, after this process done, we can get code from the GitHub. And uh, here is the command, and uh, I will post this link in the description. So, all you need to do is just copy and paste. And after it's download, you should have a folder called Hive Test Bench. So, we go to this folder, and uh, there's two types of setting up the TPC benchmarking in this GitHub code. One is TPCDS and another one is TPCH. Um, you can use both or any one you want. So what I'm gonna use here is TPCH and uh, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is TPCH build. And it will set up Marine, Marvin or all the other tools you need for this. So you can just leave it long and uh, meanwhile we're gonna do another thing. We have to set up the MapReduce path. So we're gonna open another we open another terminal and connect to this Google cluster finish already and uh, what we're gonna do is first we're gonna go to the root account we do sudo su and you see it changed to root in this way we can modify the path the documents in HDFS and what we're gonna do is I will <coughs> I will Minus U. Okay, you will see all these commands in the description, so you don't need to worry about this. So what is do is actually we are copying the map reduce. We are first of all we are creating a map reduce path, which the path this code can recognize. And then we're gonna copy the MapReduce map reduce package from the original path to the new path we just created. In that way, when we run this code, when we run the TPC benchmarking code, it will recognize that, oh, it's, it's, it's there. Otherwise, you will get error saying can't find the MapReduce path program and here
and when you <coughs> when you're running this commands my suggestion is copy and paste all of them because some of them is uh, having like space in the middle of it and uh, you may need to change the manner you may need to change like here it should be a minor but for some reason it goes to another thing so you have to make sure it's correct if it's not running you have to make sure all the symbol in this command is correct and then it as you can see we copied this file first of all we we make a path in here and uh, we copied this one this package from here to here that's what we did for this steps and then we can exit for, from the root account then we can go back here and we can start generate the code so if you were doing the ds you have to type in tbc ds slash setup and in here setup.sh and in here we're gonna put in a number that's how many data we're gonna generate you can put as many as you want but my suggestion is don't put like don't put like more than 10 and uh, there is a limitation of this you have to put more than one gigabits one means one gigabits and uh, 10 means 10 gigabits so uh, to make this process faster I gonna just put two gigabits here and let it run and uh, okay it will see those actual file directory but it doesn't it doesn't really matter as as long as it's running as long as seeing map reduce drop running drop and give you a drop ID it will be all set so don't need to worry about all of this and uh, just leave it long it takes a couple of hours depends on how many data you you decided to generate and uh, I will just pass here and uh, I will be right back As you can see here, the map reduces keep moving. Fifty hundred percent. Okay, when when this process is running, I gonna show you something else. So if you go to You see, there's a simple queries folder in this package, and uh, you can actually check what is it. So if you go to there, there are different number of queries. There are different scripts of queries, so you can open either one. I mean, any one. Let's see this one. So you can see what it's actually doing. So for this curious, what we're gonna do is after this process is done, all the data will be contained in a hive database. In a database, and uh, we can use hive to uh, to use this database and load all the tables. And uh, for this curious, we can use we can use this curious in hive to give us the results we want. So we can it's like just it's just like basic SQL queries. So we can do it in terminals and if you set up queue on your cloud, you can also use queue to query all these data. Okay, as you can see, the data generation is complete and it also loads all the text data into 
external table. So the table's the, da the database name is this. So what we can do is we go to hide and we're gonna do some simple query as we as I show you before in here. And uh, sorry, here if we do show databases, you can see a new database here. And this is the text format, and this is the flat format. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the one we just copied. And if we do show tables, this is all the tables in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some sample query to make sure there are the data, I mean, to make sure it's working. Oh, we have to, sorry, we have to go to this folder first. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, we have to make sure that the name is exactly the same as here. And this one should work. Table not found. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this folder. GPCH. And uh, that's all the queries we have here. And uh, the next thing is we go to hide. gonna check the database name is correct. And this is the database we're gonna use. Copy, paste. Okay, so next thing is we're gonna use this data, this query. You can you can try any you can try you can try any queries here and uh, in here I just gonna use this one. Let's see if it's work. Oh yeah, I, s I have to have to tap in this command. So yep, yeah, and it's working right now. And uh, after it's done, it will give you, it will print out a result for this query. And you can see the job ID is here, so you can check it on your web browser. Or if you are using Hue, um, everything will present on the website, on your Hue page. And in here, 
because we are only generating like two gigabytes data, so this process is extremely fast. But if you generate like hundred or more, it will take you like a whole day or even three to five days to to do all this stuff. And uh, yeah, seems like it's already done. And uh, we're gonna give it like more minutes, and uh, I will be back. Okay, the job is done now. As you can see, this is the result. And uh, you can do any query you want. You can you can create a new query by yourself and put it in this folder, so it can run in here. And that's it. Thank you.